Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. We just got done sneaking away from Step Douche, as Chloe Wait, would call him. Turn around. Actually, They're we coming. are reliving this cutscene. Well, we can out. watch it again so we can ease into Life is Strange you again. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. And you know what? I'm going to talk over the dialogue because you guys saw this in the last episode. We were in the pool with Chloe. A little bit of lesbianist action. I really like the friendship that Chloe and uh, Max have. And we can't skip this. Okay. Come on. Yes. Get out of there. See, wouldn't the stepdad know that was Chloe's truck? Because it has so many things on it that would make the truck unique. Like it has a lot of... Uh, parts from other cars that are on her car. Look, the door is replaced. It looks all dinged up. I mean, wouldn't the stepdad notice that truck going away? It even has its own stickers. Come on, Chloe. Think you slick? Not slick, girl. We are about to have a little sleepover, though. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy another episode of Life is Strange. Oh, the sleepover's done? Fuck me, man. I was hoping we, you know, paint our toenails, roast some marshmallows... Tell some crazy stories, you know, maybe uh, cuddle, snuggle, all the above. Well, I think they did, though, because I see some feet. <laughs> Ugh, straight up smell like vinegar. Better wash them toes, girl. I can't sleep. They both look sleep to me. Where am I? What year is it? Okay, sleeping in the booty shorts. See you girls. Take selfie. Yeah, take a candid selfie of you pretending to be asleep. Always remember this. It's <laughs> just <moment>. like <laughs> And don't lie, you guys have done that before what in your life. Oh photo hog. Alright. Selfie. Hi. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Oh, there's like definitely some skid marks. Land. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Alright, let's explore Chloe's okay, Chloe? I need to Chloe's room. Now. Sorry, I can't speak right now. I don't think I'll be washing today. Warren texted us. Let's see what he said. Warren said Oh wait, mom texted us. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Where is Warren? There he is. He said, Glad to see you didn't blow a Blackwell. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Dang it! I wanted to back out. I didn't really want to see that ape movie with him, but you know what? I still feel guilty I guess we'll have to do our thing. out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. I remember those flip phones. Shout out to anybody who had those flip phones. And even bigger shout out to anybody who has those flip phones right now. I love this song. Oh, you love this song? I don't really love it. I was trying to turn it off, but okay. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Don't be jealous. Holy shit, balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Frank said, Chloe, money now. 
I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I'll get it. Now, you fucking whore! Yo, chill out with the whore talk. Get dressed. Ew. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Guess we're gonna go for plan B. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Got it. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Whoa! I dare you to kiss me now. Okay. Um, of course I'm gonna go for it. Come on now. I'm Jay. I'm a dog. I'm a pone hound. Oh. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. Wait, what? You're such a dork. That wasn't even really a kiss. Come on, Chloe! Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Wait, I didn't really kiss her. It felt like I was trying to kiss her and then Chloe backed out like, Uh-uh, girlfriend. Don't kiss me. Let's see what she has to say about that. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yeah, let's kiss again. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Did you have a boyfriend? So... He never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. You crushed on Rachel? Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. I guess. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Cool. That was a cool moment between Max and Chloe. Nice. I was gonna judge her outfit. The plaid, always a you nice look. Sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for ah! the mosh pit, shaka bra? Maybe not. Yeah, don't do that. Go on down and say do hi to Joyce. Do not do that. Free Cringy. I have to uh, wake and bake first. Can I wake I and bake as well? Not tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I would also like to partake in this waking of the baking. Can I have some? Come on, where is it? Where's the bong at? I'm gonna hit it first. Uh, oh, wallet. I bet there's nothing in here. Cobwebs. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel's is so touching. What is this? Burger, please come back. Are these condoms? Don't be a dummy. Cover your willy. Yep, all you young whippersnappers out there, listen to that quote on the back of that condom. <laughs> all right, I guess we aren't gonna wake and bake with Chloe, huh? Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Okay. Gonna go to Joyce now. Have fun. Wish I could have joined ya. Would have been trippy oh playing God. as Max. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. How much do I weigh? How much do I weigh? Let me see. Ah, oh, fuck. Can't even see. All right. So, like, when we take the photos, are we going to have to choose which one we want to enter inside the contest? Because she's been taking a lot of pictures. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. I heard it was really hygienic to swim in the ocean, but 
you need to really shower What's quickly after a pool, like with chlorine. Chloe used my toothbrush. Hmm. That's not really sanitary, but okay. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. I have this uh, Mickey Mouse towel that I've had since I was a kid. I think a lot of people have that. Let's see. Let's try going in here. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Right? Watch him be like sleeping with his balls hanging out. Nobody wants to see that. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Okay. Let's see what Joyce is cooking because Max said it smells good. Let me smell. Oh, I got a left mouse button. I'm trying to smell. I'm like, hmm. Let's, let's guess. Bacon, eggs, and toast. Sing it, girl. Come on. Let me keep snapping. What? Nope. Okay. What'd you make, Joyce? Uh, where's my breakfast at? What? Okay, you know what? We're just gonna talk to her. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. But you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I would like to chow on eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Got to get my protein. Remember when you guys would sleep in get and nice and strong. out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this oh, you know who's wakey, wakey, wakey right, right now upstairs? I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Okay. I can handle eggs and bacon. Joyce is talking about wakey wakey. Chloe is a wakey wakey right now, you know what I'm saying? Doing the I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. If you don't love bacon, I think you might be related to the devil. You just might be. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. Is Rachel okay? Rachel in trouble? I feel like Rachel is in trouble. Cause she's missing. She, she didn't leave. She's missing. Say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me, too. me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. A little bit. Chloe does talk up about her a lot. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for breakfast. She is such a nice mom. At least she's not one of those moms who are like, Yeah, get out of my house! Nya, 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 nya. The bottle? Who's been boozing? Who drinks beer this early around here? It could have been late last night and they left it out. You never know, Max. Don't assume. Remember, makes an ass out of you-know-who. <laughs> Let's look at this peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Aw, damn it. If I don't eat this, do I have to clean? 
Now nah, whatever, this looks good. Let's dig in. Are we just gonna watch her eat? Well, oh, here you guys go. We have uh, Wild Max Caulfield eating in the wild. I should have put on my uh, my hunter voice. Let's, I guess uh... nobody waters the plant here. Hey, you still have like a bit of bacon and some eggs. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. The Independent. Flash, snow, and freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon. Super heroine save suicidal Blackwell student. You're a superhero, Max. What am I supposed to be looking at? I think I'm just chilling Seeing here. Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Hey, language in front of your parents! You, Chloe, you fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now this is awkward. Paranoid, I'm leaving. Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Why is Chloe being so mean to her mom? I do Don't need cuss to get in front of your mom. Computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Yeah. Do it, Max. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. <gasps> I need more clues. Right. Let's see. Book. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran's guide by Lieutenant James Edward. Hmm. I don't think that would be it. I don't think the guy's name would be the password. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. I don't see anything here. Okay, let's think outside the box. Sun visor. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel. Keep your wings up. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. That's cute. Could be a password here. To a real hero... Or to a real life hero, 607 Survey Company. Maybe. But let's just make sure. Let's look through everything that we can. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. He's not that bad. Maybe they're just being dramatic or I'm just downplaying this whole thing. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Eh, not really. I mean, we've all made passwords for our accounts before, but... Usually you have like a name and some numbers and some weird symbols. I could try the license number for the password. Yeah. 
Okay. I think we have enough clues. So let's try these out, and then if they don't work, then these last remaining ones should be okay. Let's try... Family. Nope. nope. Okay. Uh, that one. <sighs> try again. Hey, oh, you totally shit. froze the laptop. Okay, we are going back in time. Got it. Such what? wrong. What? I'm trying to go back. This shit confuses me sometimes when I do the. Daru, daru, daru. There you go. Um, army. And then keep your wings up. Worst mm. hacker ever. You no are. Way, Max, you totally. Okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. Calm down, calm down, calm down. We're gonna go back. Let's do army again, but this time, this one. Magic eight ball says no. <gasps> God, I suck. I am the worst hacker ever. And I beat that deep web game and I still suck. Army again, and this time. Oh no, we tried all of them. Personal? Oh, shit balls. Okay, fuck my life. Oh, we my are gonna back that ass up. I'm gonna make sure I get everything this time. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes, this has to be it. I didn't check that one before, oh my god. This has to be it because I've checked everything. Oh my god, I've been wandering around for like 10 minutes in this garage. This one. Score! Max the Hacker strikes Yes! Out. Whoa. Spoiler Fuck, alert. finally! Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Because she was hanging around Chloe, I guess, and he's being an overprotective step douche. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report, case number 678. Reporting officer Anderson Berry. Incident report, Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called into question Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate M. follows same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs? Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Oh my god, man. Step douche is creepy. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty! This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. This is creepy. Max Caulfield. Maxine Caulfield's student. Max class schedule. He knows my whole class schedule? Or Max's? Weird. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Hmm. That was weird. Uh-oh. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. What are you looking at? <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. 
Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh... Obviously we're gonna side with Chloe, come on now! You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. That was awkward. Felt like I was listening into a family fight, like an outsider. Uh, I'm gonna just be awkward and uh, talk to everybody in the room now. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Well, screw you too then. I was gonna say sorry, but you don't deserve that, asswipe. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Oh, I was gonna ask you to move so I can finish the rest of my bacon and eggs, but yeah, that too. Okay, I guess the last person we need to talk to is Chloe. Who is probably high as fuck right now. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. No, hell nah. Let's get out of here. So... We're digging deeper into, you know, the security guard. Listen, I keep forgetting his name because I keep calling him Step Douche. David's laptop, David. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. I hope not. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Can't be casual Shit, during the daytime. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh... Confusing and... me, girl. Confusing me. I Sorry. know what you mean, though. I got this. I know what I'll you mean, right though. I'll be right back. Just... Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Yep. Let's see here. Bird. Hello, bird. This is so creepy. Oh, never mind. I thought we could pick up the bird and, like, give it to the dog. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Uh, climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. 
Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. All right, smell you later. Got to get those keys. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. What does Warren want, man? I'm doing my thing. It's sold out. I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them, though. Freaking nerds. Not now, Warren. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was Ooh. eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> Did that really work? <laughs> okay. Um, nope. I guess that's not it. Let's rewind a little bit. That was not the way to go. It was funny, though. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Nope, that didn't work either. <laughs> and we're gonna try whatever the third option was. Nope. No, I didn't want to do that. How do I get out of this thing? Uh, I think the game just glitched out because... It's not letting me do anything. So let me reload this part of the game and I'll be right back. Let me just talk to Frank this time. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Oh. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. We could do that, I guess. Let's talk to the cop. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. It's all right, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Weird Town, Kate Marsh, David Madsen, uh, Nathan? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay, so... I'm not sure what I understand from this whole thing. Let's see here. Nathan, there he is. I didn't Rachel. know he was here. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your father, Kate Marsh, drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Use this information with either Frank, Nathan, or Officer Barry. Okay, let me try with Frank first. Let's see what happens. 
What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Hmm. That didn't work. Let's try it on the officer. We'll chat later, Max. Oh, all right. Then I guess I I'm gonna have to rewind. That. I'll need to rewind. Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it. We'll chat later, Max. What? Am I supposed to rewind completely now? Get a new outfit. And okay, leave me yeah. alone. Let me try this. Let me try this. Damn, Let's I go really pissed him off. All the way back. I need to go back. Yeah. Real, really far back. One more time. Let's see this. Okay, this time, let me talk to the cop. There she is. Thanks, officer. Let's see. I'm glad. Let me choose an option. Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Hmm. Okay. Then we talk to Frank again and talk about his dog? What the f- Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. <laughs> Oh, man. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Take it? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Oh. You did not just do that. Give me back yes, my did. keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Oh yeah. And then, rewind. And we're good. No? Keep right. On. Now back to yes. Chloe. Yes! All right, awesome guys. We did work. That took a while, but we did it. Whew! Hey, oh. Me? What in the world? Hold on. Did she get wet? I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Not anymore. Alyssa, watch out! <laughs> Quit thinking, what if she Max. moved to the left and got even more wet? Well, we helped out Alyssa, so that's the thing. She's the one who almost got hit in the head with a football. There's Chloe. With, uh... Big old whatever that is. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. 
Looks like a brown and white dildo. On your mark, get set. Throw. Throw. Throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. <laughs> get it? Now I can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. That was a cute the dog. Doggy is busy now, but look at that dog. He's he cute. Back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Yeah. Hey, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I feel like they they're gonna have like a connection be Stay between me. them, romantic connection. Oh, I bet you she liked that smoochy smoochy too. She's like, let's stoop around though. No talking about smoochies anymore. You scope anymore. the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank must have a reason to keep a police. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. What? This place is nasty. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Mm. What do we have here? Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Okay, we're gonna find something here. Is Frank going to deal online now? Blowtorch? What the hell is he doing with a blowtorch? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Oh, duh. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. <laughs> I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay. Uh, not the blowtorch, right? <laughs> nope. Open that. Ooh, Frank's stash. I need the right tool. No more secrets. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Baseball bat. I no, we're not going to open the vent with a baseball bat. Bay Brewers. No prize here. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Okay, yeah, open the vent with a knife. Smart, I guess. Curses, nothing here. All right, let's uh, let's rewind that though. I don't want him to know that we did that. There's nothing here. Oh, Presto, there's the gun. Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? Leave the gun, give the gun to Chloe. Mmm. You know what? I feel like Frank might do something if I leave the gun. Give it to Chloe. But then Chloe might do something too, right? She might do something dumb with the gun. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Okay, we need to hurry up. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Exactly. That is my thinking. 
What are we supposed to look for? That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I feel like I've searched everything. I've searched high. I've searched low. I've searched all the way around. And I don't see a damn thing. He would wear a collar and a furry mask. You are oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. My blade will open any portal. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out here forever. Love you always. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act the way you did and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. What is Chloe going to think about this? It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh, really? Really? <laughs> now this guy is fucked. Oh. What in the world? Looked like there was gonna be a car crash or something. And he doesn't even care that his dog's outside the RV? Come on, bro! Alright. I'm going to end this episode of Life is Strange here. If you guys want to see the next episode ASAP, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!